Another day cooped up in this little office. Monday today and I'm working from home mainly because I've got two people coming. Uh, one person to fit a smart meter and the other person to fit a water meter. Two types of meters, two types of people. And I'm also going to try and organize for someone to come and fix our oven. Oven man booked in. Um, we also have already fixed a bug. We're about to deploy that. So going all right today. It's going all right. Like we said, this room here just gets like, it's weird because it's not hot, but it's like sweaty, you know? See, open the window and it's fucking freezing out. Not quite that good. God damn. So I'm just, uh, well, I've got to, it's annoying because I'm cut, the next thing I'm doing kind of builds on what I've just done. So I'm building up a new branch. I'm gonna make a cup of tea. Wait, should I my best off waiting? I don't know, there's three people coming around today. At some point I need to run off to the bank in between the first one and the second one. And maybe the third one. Um, but anyway, um, let's have a cup of tea. I've got to dial into a meeting in 30 minutes. Yeah, let's have a cup of tea. It's really annoying because you have to kind of like, I'm on a different branch trying not to block myself and carry on. And then I've got to like switch back into the other branch to fix a bug. I'm like, God damn. <laughs> it's so annoying. It is a semi, semi significant bug. I'd, it was a, one of those ones where my previous bug was hiding this bug. So fortunately though, this one isn't like a UI change. This is like a, a um, boot it up, generate some shit, like make some submissions, check the data kind of bug fix. So it's gonna take a bit longer. So I'm getting the brew. Gas man has just been and gone. Been here for about an hour and a half. Nearly two hours, I was like, is it at any point now the water guy could come and then at any point after that if that takes as long the oven man can come and I need to get to the back so I'm going to very quickly run and do that and then we'll have some lunch and that's all sorted literally while I was while he was here I'm on a telephone thing with work which is interesting they're having a big meeting I'm listening in on and to keep muting my mic because it's just like noisy as heck I've got one of them smart meter things that tells you like how much it is you're using and radios are off to um, whoever it is that gives a damn uh, just assume we don't need any of that, I'll just clean up later. Well, I've got to get the water guys coming. The water guys are going to come in and be like, so where's your uh, this? I'm like, I don't fucking know, mate. Not a foggiest. Well, the water guy, do you not know? <laughs> and now I've got this meter thing that tells you exactly how much you're using, how much it costs, how much today costs compared to yesterday. We have to put a price on working from home. It'll be interesting, won't it? The price differences between leaving the house completely on its own and, uh, and not. Interesting. Okay, what I'm really interested in finding out is the price difference between burning the log burner and or having the central heating on. Which we'll find out during winter, obviously, when we whack, when it's snowing, for example, and we just whack up the log burner. We won't do it at the weekend, obviously, because there's no point. You don't just turn a log burner on for the evening. Right, let's put that on charge because it's nearly fucking dead. <laughs> um, I want to have some lunch. I'm very little more at the moment than a nice good old walk in the sunshine. Now, one, there isn't any sunshine. And two, no dice. <laughs> Back to work. Technically, I could have at lunch, but I need to stay in because of the water, man. So I feel like I've hurt this bit of my hand, like this this fleshy bit here. I don't know how, but it's like really sore. Is that an RSI area? That I'm sure if it was from the oven or something yesterday. It really fucking hurts. Do I have a spare mouse somewhere? If I do, where would it be? Fuck, I hate fucking moving into different houses. This room is still a fucking mess as well. Computer mouse would be suitcase. Suitcase. The fuck, my suitcase is empty. <laughs> that just blew my goddamn mind. Where the fuck is all that stuff then that was in that suitcase? What? I can't use my other mouse because it installs drivers and stuff and I'm not allowed. <laughs> You know, it's underneath the bloody stairs where all the bloody spiders are. So now this is even more garish. Now it's got this fucking metal thing on it. This man thankfully wasn't here as long as the other fucking guy was. Um, <laughs> so that's all done. Oven man is coming in about 15 minutes. It's very difficult to concentrate while all this is kicking off. The oven should now work an absolute goddamn treat. So we have to try that out with our garlic bread this evening. Um, not sure what I think about this power meter thing. Um, it's gonna stress me out. It's gonna be like when you're watching your miles to the gallon in a car, you know, and you end up driving funny just to try and get the miles. It's like a game. I'm downstairs to play some Xbox, and I'm like, gonna watch it going like, ding, ding, that cost you a penny, that one. Right, so, 
The circle's just finished. The best person won. I had a bet with Laura before the votes got counted. And I won both bets. <laughs> Genuinely happy that uh, Alex slash Kate won. Um, so much better than the others. And like, so much more deserving as well. But, it's now like half past 11 again. I feel like I'm gonna be the only hashtag the circle fan that actually gets more less sleep after the circle finishes than before. I've seen a load of tweets like, oh thanks for that, I can now go to bed on time and um, sleep deprived but gotta watch the circle and I'm like, mate, I've got way too much sleep going on here. Let's do my nutting. Making the most of what is probably gonna be my last opportunity to head out at lunchtime to go and have some lunch. It's a bit too warm for my liking, but that the circle's over, Laura and I are both looking forward to having early nights. Um, mainly so that I can then get up early um, and then therefore be asleep at lunchtime rather than out and about. I take contemplated taking the longboard out for a spin so I could get to a, a park that's further away. But this park is literally as far as you could ever want to go. <laughs> um, like, the problem with Bath is it's really small. So you can literally get from one side to the other side within 15 minutes, easy. Bizarrely, because it's like a rabbit warren of either really like cobbly roads or roads in general. The longboard actually doesn't get you very far very quickly. So I was like, okay, let's just walk. I like this park, it's always, well, it's shaded for one. Um, and it's always like just deadly quiet. You just get time to just chill, you know? You just think about things. I had a good, I had a good lunch, I don't I think I'll miss that. I genuinely don't really know why it was that I stopped going to that park during, and I just kind of like sat and just like read the news at lunch. I forgot about how great it was to just go and sit outside for a bit. Um, it's a shame that there's no parks within like, for when I've had my 30 minute nap, I then, you know what I mean? I can't go to a park in 30 minutes, eat my lunch and come back. Maybe I should find somewhere that's a little bit more closer that I can at least just go outside to. It's just the fresh air. Maybe it's just eat and then just walk around the block. Otherwise, um, I could always go for like a 15 minute walk, come back, eat my lunch and then like just pick up the like um, oranges and stuff. Yeah, who knows. Um, Semi-productive day today. Doing quite a lot of like chasing bugs for people and trying to like help people out on stuff. Um, I'm in a bit of a predicament with the thing I'm doing where it's like a little bit bigger than I thought it would be. Um, but it ain't too bad. And then came back home and I've been diving through uh, making the next page on uh, my project site. Um, we're about to go to bed. It's just, well, it's quarter past ten. We're going to go to bed early. going to be asleep before eleven, which means waking up at half past two. Two o'clock, sorry. Um, we are going to be merciless, mercilessly running towards the goal. I was there. What is nice about sitting in a park on your own is that you just get to think about things. Um, and I don't take my headphones or anything like that, so you can just sit and think. And it's just nice. And I'm like, here's what we want to do. Here's how we're going to do it. Here's how we're going to stop other things ruining that. Sounds good to me. When Laura was trying for her, um, what's it called? Uh, her like university course. Like, one of the dumbass questions they asked her was like, "Who's the inspiration to you?" And she like rather freaking uh, cringily said me, <laughs> because of my like drive. I know what I want, and I just drive for it. And I've stopped doing that. I still want the same thing, but I've just lost that that like unbridled. I will achieve this, I will get this, and just run at it. And I've just kind of like stopped off that and I'm just allowing myself to get beaten aside. I'm like, fucking no, all right? No. And what's super strange right now, the weather. Yesterday was like, uh, started off cold, got warm. Overnight, when I woke up at two in the morning, it was roasting in our house. It was so warm, I was like, we need to open a window. But by half past five, it was ice cold and the heating kicked in. The floor isn't dry. I'd describe it as not wet, but greasy. This afternoon, it's gonna hit 22 degrees. What the fuck is that all about? Yeah, so I did wake up last night. I almost didn't, I'm not gonna lie to you. I willed myself out of bed. Um, basically, I fell back to sleep a little bit um, and woke up at like 22, three. Normally I wake up at about like five past 10 past two. Um, 
I'm doing a bit of both at the moment. I'm doing two things. I'm doing the, I hooked up some GraphQL to the front end of my Angular app, and then I was uh, styling out and putting some content on my Razor Pages uh, website. What I can't tell is whether or not the variance is a good thing. Um, because I think part of the reason why I like feel so demotivated at work is because it's all just the same shit, you know? We've been doing the same thing for so long that I feel like it's burnt me out. But then I don't know, I want to focus on the, the content, the HTML part, but it seems weird waking up at three in the morning to effectively write blog posts. So I'm trying to do a little bit of both to keep in, like interested in both because I'm like solving problems in one and just like effectively doing work in the other, if that makes sense to you. Uh, really what I should be doing is focusing on the blogs. Basically, for reasons that can only come down to optics, um, there's like a lot more encouragement for people to go in. We've been like working from home quite um, a lot over the past couple of weeks. Um, but a lot of people are in the office now, and that means that I, I much prefer that because I've got more people to talk to, there's more variance, I hate just sitting in the office quietly, I may as well just sit here quietly. But the problem with that is I go back to my old role of effectively being everyone's helper man. Um, and that's now what I do all the time, is just help people when I get very little time on my own. Otherwise, Laura is out. She's at a work do thing with Bob. So I've had my own dinner, I've had my own nap. I've not been napping very well today. Um, I didn't nap very well at lunch, I didn't nap very well. I didn't, don't think I napped at all this morning. And I don't think, no, I definitely didn't nap this evening. So that's problematic. First day, you have to get into it, you have to warm up. It just shows how, how long I've been off of it. I'm going to concentrate on um, some website stuff, not Angular graph stuff. It's about bedtime, and I knew I should have. Uh... <laughs> what? Well, there is. It's going to become very apparent very quickly what it is that I'm good at and what I'm not very good at. <laughs> um, and effectively marketing, it's one of those things I'm not very good at. Not be surprised if it's mostly apparent that uh, Laura does most of it. <laughs> um, which, or even Beth and Ben might leverage Beth and Ben. Beth basically does marketing for a living. Or just Ben. No, Beth wants, to, Beth does marketing for a living. Ben does accounting. I've got the dream team, boys. Or as legal. Fucking, I've got the tri the quad vector. It rained today, so I uh, bust in, and li literally, <laughs> the traffic is so fucking bad. There's like roadworks on one road, there's a car accident on another one. I end up cutting through all the country lanes to try and get to where I need to get to in a semi decent amount of time. I left, and it's like, your normal route has a car accident on it, which is causing 29 minute delays. I'm like, well, that's not ideal. That was good times. Good times indeed. Oh man, I've just had some. So, <laughs> I'm just about to go to bed. Um, go to bed early again because I need to fucking wake up. Weekly. Facebook gave me a notification telling me that Dad had. Um, what was the notification? Let me see if I can get it back again because it was it was wrong. Like it's an inaccurate notification. Uh, it says, well, no, it says, oh, it's changed. It's mine. Right, it's a Facebook notification. At the top says my dad's name, his picture. And then the comment thread saying, Morning peeps, I have a new phone, so if you could all text me your name, I'd be eternally grateful. And lots of kisses. And I'm like, Dad got a new phone like a couple of weeks ago. Bit weird that he's only just realised he's not got any numbers now, and he's rung me, but maybe he just knows my phone number. Who knows? Read in the comments, and there's just a random person I don't know, who just said, I mean, really, you're not saved your numbers. And then my cousin replies, saying, um, completely different phone, I've got them on iCloud, but I haven't got them down can't get them down. Right? And I'm like, this is weird. And then my nana, <laughs> grandma, says, replies to the, face, to the Facebook comment thread, nana, kiss kiss. And I'm like, why, firstly, nana is clearly replying to a comment thread asking for text messages. This is just classic nana behavior. <laughs> but why is she referring to herself as nana to dad? That's weird. But then, <laughs> So Charlotte replies to that and says, um, could, you, could you send me that as a text message, please? <laughs> and Dad commented with a, the eye rolly emoji. Um, and then I just messaged um, Charlotte, trying to figure out what the fuck's going on with <laughs> this message thread. And she's like, yeah, she starts to uh, text me. So I just had to send her a number. But that's just a bit of 
bit of banter, you know? If you've got old people on Facebook, what happens? It's the only thing Facebook's useful for, isn't it, really? Yeah, Nana no, no, struggles with the concept of Facebook as she, uh, like, regularly puts on her, fa her own Facebook wall, happy birthday, X, but then X isn't tagged. So they have no fucking idea <laughs> that this thing's gone on. Um, yeah, it's great. She also leaves comments on things. <laughs> Dad put up a photo before of him, like, he, was, he went out for like afternoon tea and had like a glass of champagne or something. And she commented on it saying, um, what are you doing drinking? You're driving later. <laughs> and he's like, this was yesterday, no. <laughs> I didn't say that. Top quality entertainment. Um, otherwise, today has been another one of those days. I actually got quite uh, a good chip through on the thing I was working on, but it was one of those things where I'm trying to reuse something someone else has done. And I'm like, not sure whether or not I'm getting bugs from it or me. And it turned out to be it, but it was something that they'd done preempting me, but they never tested that bit. So I'm like, is it right or am I right? And I don't really know. But I got there again. Um, so that's Gucci. Um, and then I was helping other people as I do, web prepping um, deployments and stuff now. So <sighs> she's getting fun, fun, fun. Otherwise. Chilled out evening. Laura didn't have a very good day today. I didn't have a very good day today, so she just had a nice chilled out evening. Watched The Apprentice on like dumbass TV. Um, and I'm going to bed. Look at this storm. It's very wet. It's very windy. It's pretty fucking miserable. It's refreshing, man. It's just goddamn refreshing. I love me a bit of rain. Right. Friday. It's Friday! Last night and I was playing around with Angular stuff getting components to have child components, which is something I've not done before. All of my components were like kind of flat, but I realized I was basically gonna duplicate a shitload of code. So I was like, you know what, fuck it, dog. Let's move this thing. It was a bit of a faff, a bit confusing, but I'm there, got it working. Um, I think it's because I got, I got caught on a little bit because I lifted and shifted. I basically had like a nested form in the top layer and I tried to just lift out the middle bit of the form into the second form and was like, ah, this doesn't quite work. Throw in all references and I thought, that it was because of something else, uh, but it wasn't. Riveting story. The next day, I'm currently pretty like annoyed with myself about not waking up and whatnot. At that point where I'm just trying to chip in, I can't really get like multiple days in a row going. Um, so, quite annoying. Today, semi-productive. Uh, the evening didn't really do much. Went to bed, uh, semi-normal semi, semi -normal time. Um, but just kind of like tried to chill out. Stressful week. I'm, I'm trying to build myself up to be ready for like one last hard push at work. Um, I think next weekend is going to be like a just throw absolutely everything I've got at it because I think I've got one of those left in me <laughs> and then I'm done. <laughs> like I'm like running a marathon and I'm like okay, I just need to reserve my energy for that last mile um, and then that last mile I will fucking sprint but um, yeah I was like should I do that this weekend tonight? I'm not in any, I need to like focus my mind effectively. Um, but yeah, so it's Saturday, Saturday, um, just got ready, tried out a new shower, got a new shower fitted yesterday, um, which is great, and also fixed, we got a little, you know those like plug holes where you push them down, and you push them back up again, I don't know what's wrong with like a normal plug hole, you know, um, but we've got one of those, it keeps getting stuck, so I've got to go and stick in it, um, which is easier than I thought, but we'll see how it goes, um, but yeah, otherwise, it's a worky day today for the both of us, Laura's downstairs. I'm upstairs. I am going to do some angular stuff. I'm trying to get that thing finished. It was on my to-do list and I haven't done it yet. Um, and then I'm going to start focusing back on website stuff. Actually, I spent a bloody long time trying to get components working. With like, I've only already done... I've never done like a, a component that has another component in it. It's made more complicated by the fact that that other component has part of a form in it. And that form, I've made some stuff to make the forms type safe. Um, bit of a faff, bit of a faff. I'm trying to figure out the best way of doing that kind of stuff, uh, but I got it and it's working uh, and I'm happy about that. Otherwise, we haven't really done much. We went, where did we go out? Oh no, got some lemons. Sign uh, for dinner, made paella, um, which was, which was all right. It's one of, one of those books that's like, Something you cook in 30 minutes, but it's like, oh, healthy food as well. Healthy food can be fast too. Just because it's healthy doesn't mean you can't put spi extra spices in it though. It's just a bit bland. Yeah. I was like, a quarter of a tablespoon of smoked paprika. Come on. Smash, up, smash a full tablespoon in there. No, a quarter of a teaspoon, sorry. 
Smash a full fuck around there. Happy days. Chorizo. Much better. better. Alright guys, been shopping today. Got a hoodie. I've been looking for this kind of colour hoodie for a long ass time. But what else did we buy? Oh, look at that. Oh my fucking god, it's even got little fucking ears. Look at my fucking god. And it's got a little bear thing on there. Look at it, little bear thing in there. It's so soft, it's like a baby fucker. And Dibble's present, uh, Dibble's baby. A present. God damn it. God damn it. And that's the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen. After town, we went we went shopping into town. I haven't been to town in freaking ages. Um, and then otherwise we're just sorting out paperwork. We've now got so much paper. <laughs> We've got rid of all of our old paperwork. And we're now like figuring out where to put all of our new paperwork, um, which means go draw your old paperwork, figure out what needs shredding and what doesn't. Absolute hoot it was, absolute hoot. And we have to obviously only put a certain amount of papers through the shredder at a time, um, otherwise you break it. Keep having to give it time to cool down again. Um, but yeah, otherwise it's been a relatively good day. Um, <laughs> relatively good day. Like I said, I've been a bit down recently um, and I need to like do stuff to re-focus and re-energise like, myself. I need to warm up this week. It's going to be a big week. I'm going to get a lot of shit done. Um, what I need is a hobby outside of my normal shit. I have some good ideas of things that I can do. So I'm going to do them. That's what I'm going to do. And while I do them, I'm going to look for other things that I can do as well. Um, but yeah, right, bedtime. We also had nice roast chicken for dinner. Oh, I had a roast chicken dinner. First time we've had, obviously, a roast in the oven since it's only been fixed for a week. Um, delicious. First roast of the season. Living the dream. And, uh, what else? Is that it? That's all? Yeah. Thanks for watching this video, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to end it here. I'm going to jump back in again tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you later.